You're listening to the Independent Artist Show with today's hottest gospel artist. Here's your host, JVL. What up, everybody? This is the Independent Artist Showcase powered by Elevate Magazine. This is your host, Javon, and I am excited to bring you some post dub awards. 47th annual dub awards were in Nashville, Tennessee, and we've got some great great behind the scenes stuff we're going to start off with naomi rain an interview with naomi rain internet sensation right after this
This is the Independent Artist Showcase powered by Elevate Magazine. This is your host, Javon. And on the line, we have straight out of the Dove Awards, the 47th Annual Dove Awards in Nashville, Tennessee, we have Miss Naomi Rain. Naomi, how are you doing tonight? I am doing so good. I'm so glad to be talking to you right now. We are so happy to be talking to you as well. Naomi, I know you because of Lala. And Lala lets people know who are the hottest independent artists out. And Lala told the whole world about you. And I've just been following you since. And I have just been in love with your ministry. Can you tell me a little bit about Naomi Rain? Well, I'm from New York City, from Queens, New York, born and raised. I'm a worship leader out there. Um, I'm a mom of three and a wife. A singer, songwriter, um, a worshiper, really. I just love, I love Jesus. And um, uh, recently, I just put out a new single called Pour Me Out that's available on iTunes and, like, everywhere else. And um, I was just grateful. Like, Lala had me on her show, I'm going to say, last week. And based on the response, like, just from hearing the song, she was like, you got to have you out in Nashville. So I'm like, yes, I'm coming no matter what. So I was really excited to come and um, sing for the panel. Now, tell me about that experience. So you're, you're unfamiliar with the whole process. So you go and you um, hook up with Lala and you make the sacrifice to go out to the panel. Tell me about that experience of being on the panel and singing before the panel. Um, it was, at first, I was very nervous. I'm like shaking on the inside. But um, once the music came on, because I got the opportunity to play my song first, so once the um, once the music came on, I kind of like I feel like the Holy Spirit was like, calm down, calm down. <laughs> so I was able to calm down, <laughs> and then um, they were just like, start singing. You know, they gave me a mic and I was able to sing. I got, I guess I was like in my element. You know, I just started to feel comfortable because that's what I love to do, and it just was awesome. Like I really felt like I was, you know, singing the song from my heart. You know, the, the same as that I wrote it with, you know, that God would pour me out. It was like in this moment, like, Lord, just pour me out. It was amazing. What I want to backtrack a little bit to the actual creation of the song. Can you tell me what was going on in Naomi's life that brought about that type of atmosphere in that song that was able to go into other atmospheres around the world and transform lives? Honestly, I... I had wrestled with the, with that song for a while. I, I was in a service once, and I remember just hearing, I remember the Holy Spirit saying, pour me out. So I wrote it. I put it in my memo. You know, I, like I write everything in my phone. Put it in my memo, and I held on to it, and I kept saying to myself, I gotta write a song about pour me out. I don't know that the Holy Spirit telling me to do that. And um, I had written a song with a friend um, a little while ago, uh, a little while before that, and he asked me to write, uh, like, Oh, um, he asked me to write a chorus, and it's basically the bridge to pour me out now. And I kept telling him, like, I feel like this is it. Um, and so one time I was just in personal worship, and I was singing that chorus over and over and over. It was just something that, you know, is in my heart. And the Holy Spirit was like, pour me out. And I'm like, what? So I just got my guitar, you know, kept worshiping, and it literally, like, wrote itself. You know, I was just in worship and wrote it there at home on the couch. What has happened to you since the time of the showcase up until now with Talking to Elevate Magazine? Well, I was able to get some meetings with some amazing people. I don't even know if I can say their names. I'm like so, <laughs> I'm like so nervous. But um, I've just been able to like talk with a lot of people. At one point, um, I met up with Todd Delaney. He gave me some amazing advice and just kind of helped me see things from a different perspective, which was um, crazy. Like, he, you know, kind of saying that, like, your gifts will make room for you. And it, it's just crazy to see it happen. People always say it, you know, we read it in the Bible, we hear it on, in our sermons, but it's, like, really happening. It's just crazy. What was it like being in that room? And can you envision yourself one day being on that stage performing in that type of atmosphere? It was amazing, like just to see all the artists that I admire and I listen to and I, you know, I worship to, um, it's crazy. And then to see Chris Tomlin get this award, you know, for being a songwriter, it just, it really touched me. Um, it, it, 
I was, I think for today, I actually did see myself. I could envision myself there. I could never do that before, but being there today, I was like, yeah, I feel like I, I kind of want to be there. You know, it was real. It, it just became real. Can you give a quick message? And I know this is, um, we, we caught you coming out of the Dove Awards going on to the other events that are taking place that night, so we want to let you go. But can you just give a, a quick word of inspiration to other independent artists that are trying to get to where you are currently now? I would say be yourself. Um, I think that's something, like the feedback I got back the most was like, you're just authentic and like you're you. And I think I couldn't, you know, fake that. I just am who I am and I, it, it, it's making room for me. And so I would just say, be yourself. There's nobody else like you. And what God has for you is for you. Cause I never thought I would be here. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but it's happening. It's just cause I'm who God made me to be. And we are glad that God made you so that we can be here and experience this with you. We have so many more questions, but we're going to let you go now. We'll go more in depth later. But for those who want to know, no, who, who, ha, ha. for those who want to know more about Naomi, can you please let us know your social media and your contact information on how they can reach you and book you? Yes, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram, it is Naomi Rain, N A O M I. R A I N E, and I also have a website which is Naomi Rain Music.com. Big shout out to Naomi, big shout out to Rebecca. Thank you so much to you and your team. Big shout out to Lala for introducing you to us. <laughs> Congratulations on everything that's going on, and we look forward to hearing from you again real, real soon. Uh, we'll be right back on the Independent Artist Showcase powered by Elevate Magazine. We'll be right back right after this. Life is too short to be fake By the time you want to be real You find it's too late Well, what can I say? Life is sort of tricky that way When you're ready to take off You start to hesitate Well, I heard a man say Start punch fear in the face And I decided to Cause I ain't got no more life to waste I want to finish brave I want to show the world we don't have to live afraid I want to finish bold and be able to say I'm someone courageous and I I want to finish change Busting fear in the eye Well, at least that's what I say Cause it's scary, but we're all gonna die
All right, welcome back to the Independent Artist Showcase powered by Elevate Magazine. On the line, we have one of Elevate's own, Mr. Tony D. How you doing, Tony? What's going on, man? How it is. You know how we do it. So, <laughs> you were at the Dove Awards representing Elevate Magazine. Tell me about the event, if you don't mind, sir. Man, it was it was phenomenal. Um, I've watched the Dove Awards for, for several years, like everybody. But it was my first opportunity to actually go and uh, see it live and in person, and it was phenomenal from the first act to the last. Um, it was just an awesome presentation. Um, so many great testimonies, so many great ministry moments. Um, it was just definitely um, something to have to hold. I'm glad I was able to go. And Elevate Magazine was glad you were able to go as well. So some of the highlights. I, I know about all the winners. You can read that. Uh, later on, but just being in the room, what was the atmosphere like? Man, it was electric. Man, it was it was it was electric, and um, so many artists uh, had some great words to say. Um, they uh, the the theme of of it was love amplified, um, bringing together um, races, bringing together um, different denominations, and um, it was very much exuded um, through the um, participation. Uh, from the audience as well as all the uh, participants in the actual awards, it was it was just awesome, man. Man, that's fantastic. So um, it was about it was about love and it's about everybody coming together. Was there a good representation of the different styles of, I guess, inspirational music? Oh yeah, it was a cross section of um, artists. You had Ty Tribute, you had uh, Jonathan McReynolds. But then you had uh, Big Daddy Weave and uh, 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 DC Talk and, and uh, Kurt, Stephen Curtis Chapman. So yeah, uh, it was it was awesome, man. It was awesome. It was um, it, it, one thing uh, one of the artists said is, is I think I believe it was Ty. He said it's it's no black or white, no um, uh, uh, Pentecostal, no christian whatever you know it's we're all one body and so that was definitely the theme of the night and it and it was it was uh, uh presented so well by the by the dove um uh, uh, uh planning committee or whatever you would call it <laughs> they did an awesome job and and god and the holy spirit oh. just had his way man it was really really good so for you what was maybe one or two of the highlighted performances of the night i know you mentioned uh dc talk you mentioned ty tribbett I know Natalie Grant was there, uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman. What were what was maybe one or two of the just the highlights where you walked away from the night going, I'm so glad everything was definitely worth it. That was amazing. Well, there was a young lady whose name is Holland. I never heard her before. She's a new artist. Uh, she was 19 years old, and I'm talking about this girl brought the fire. She was dope. Um, really? She, yeah, she was one of the. They did a showcase, which um, everybody will be able to see um, when it airs on on TBN. But they did a, uh, uh, like four or five uh, new artists, emerging artists, and she was one of them. And she was phenomenal. Nineteen years old, that girl. She brought it. <laughs> you know, um, that was one of the things that stood out for me. And um, um, Jonathan McReynolds had an awesome performance. Um, one of his uh, his new single. He was really good. Um, uh, it was it was just awesome, man. I mean, everybody was great. Toby Mac and DC Talk uh, reunion, you know, coming all both those groups on the stage, you know, it was just it was great. It was really really good. Man, well, I am so thankful that you were able to go and represent Elevate Magazine, and you were able to get us this kind of behind the scenes, inside of the room uh, perspective. So, is there before we let you go? Is there anything else you want to share with us? In regards to the Dove Awards, um, I think one of the most uh, moving moments of the night uh, for me was Kurt Franklin. He uh, spoke so eloquently as he received his award. Uh, I believe it was uh, Artist of the Year. Um, he spoke eloquently about us coming together and, and the churches actually working um, with their um, with the, the um, power that they have. If we all unite together, no denominations, just churches and leaders coming together. You know, especially in this uh, season where we're about to come up on a very important vote. Uh, mm -hmm. So he 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 was very 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 powerful, um, awesome prayer. Um, just the unity in the room was was dynamic after that. So 
that's that's what I remember most, um, uh, seeing God use Kurt Franklin in such a mighty way. It was awesome. And, and Kurt looked well? He did. He, well, he looked tired. You could tell he's, uh, you know, he's been on the tour um, 20 years uh, in, the, in the night, mm-hmm. but um, but he looked tired. But, yeah, he looked well. Him and his Bro, wife, they looked, they looked, you said? I said they looked, they, he looked well. He looked tired, but he looked, he looked well. Him and his, him and his wife looked, looked uh, great as always. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I know that Kirk has this uh, or this website that he's promoting or that he's working with about getting the different people to come together. I think it's called the Expectations Project. It's something correct. Um, yes, it has to do with uh, um, different zip codes. It doesn't matter what zip code you are. Um, everybody is in education. That young people should get the same uh, chance of a good education. Because, uh, you know, it, unfortunately, if you live in a particular zip code where it's a, maybe a more affluent area or there's more funds generated to that to that school district, you know, they seem to get the better education and better books. But uh, Kurt has a team with some um, powerful people to, uh, you know, say it doesn't matter what zip code you are from, what side of the lines you live on, you know, everybody deserves it. All young people deserve a great education. So. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, man, and I, I'm excited about that because I have a passion for young people, so I'm excited to see how far um, how far that movement is going to go. Man, that's going to be great, and I hope people can go out and support that. It's the expectationsproject.com if you want more information about Kirk Franklin and, the, and what he was talking about during the awards. So uh, thank you for sharing that with us. I've got a couple more questions. So when the cameras weren't rolling, those in-between moments, was there anything that stood out? Anything funny? Was there a comedian? Was there somebody to keep people entertained, or what was going on? The funniest, the funniest thing of the night is when um, Ty Trippett uh, forgot <laughs> uh, one of the um, singers' uh, name. Uh, <laughs> that was really funny. He, um, I can't remember the, the artist, but um, uh he called him he called the, the artist's last name was Osborne and he called him Jeffrey Osborne. So that was kinda of funny. <laughs> that was good and um so you know, Todd he, he made he made a lot of it and we all laughed. That was that was funny. But man, yes. the the show his show went without a hitch except for that and even he you know, he's he's a professional, he knows how to laugh through it, you know, and, and uh make us all feel comfortable. We we went back and redid it and it was like nothing ever happened. But Everybody was great. Um, all the performances were awesome, From like I said, from open to close. And, and the camaraderie in the room was great. Um, uh, the Selvies were awesome. They, they man, they were great. And um, it, was, it, was just, it was just fun, man. It was just fun. Um, Bill Gaither was on stage. He was, he was fun. He was funny. It was, it was just really, really, really exciting to be there. Oh, the, the Gaithers were there. That means that Mark Lowry was probably clowning a little bit. Yes, as he well. was. Yes, him and him and um, Bill Gates. They they did a nice little um, nice nice little skit. You know, it was it was funny. It was it was great, man. Um, but I, Travis Green, man, I love Travis Green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, intentional, man. It's to to be able to hear him uh, sing that live. And um, the night before Monday night, at Urban Soul Cafe, um, we were able to see some great emerging artists. And um, it was exciting to be able to see Jonathan uh, McReynolds, uh, Jace, um, uh, uh, Jonathan Nelson, and um, uh, uh, um, Ty. Um, um, oh, just drew a blank. Um, <laughs> um, Travis, Travis, Travis on stage oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with a Jermaine Dolly and um, man, it was great. That was really an impromptu session it was it was really cool man so man it did the whole whole um whole two days were awesome man it was, nice. if you miss it you miss the treat gotta make sure you're there next year well we'll definitely be tuning in on sunday on tbs T- tbs on tvn and then just a quick <laughs> correction it's expectations.org i think i said expectationsproject.com that's totally wrong it's expectations.org that's the uh, organization that kirk's promoting um, while he was on stage. So, man, I will definitely um, be going, looking out for you when I get to the Stellas in 2017 yes, in Las Vegas. Yes, and we'll be getting a report from you there as well, correct? Yes, yes, we'll be in the house, God permits. Amen. Now, people, 
if you want to go out and reach out to Tony B, he's on all social media. Tony, where can they find you, boss? Man, you can check me out on Twitter, at TonyD947. That's at TonyD947 on Twitter. Or you can follow my radio show, The New Artist Profile on Twitter, at NAP underscore show. Um, or you can check out my website, newartistprofile.com. I play some of the best emerging gospel recording artists from every genre uh, across the nation, man. I tell you, my show is dope. Um, I love promoting it and playing it and, and producing it for you guys. And So you make sure you follow me and uh, hit me up, and I'll hit you back. That sounds like a plan. I'm about to send you my single. It's called Jesus Get Me to the Cellars. And it's it's gonna be a real it's a real hot single. It's a it's a fundraiser. Um and it's real Southern gospel. Man, you're gonna love it. You're gonna play it on the show, everybody's gonna love it. Uh Tony D man, I appreciate you Doc. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and I'm joining the Independent Artist Showcase, powered by Elevate Magazine. Um so what we'll do is we're gonna play this quick song real quick and they'll be right back. And the Independent Artist Showcase, powered by Elevate Magazine, with your host, Javon. We'll be right back. Hey, yo, Rav. Bet your free haircut, I get this in one take. Check. Trust in God, no need to remind me. Everything I need, he provides me. Give him that 10%, he bless me with my wife. I'm married to a dime piece. I'm his slave. Spit that gospel, don't get paid. I know this track ain't good enough to go platinum. I just hope somebody gets saved. We practice. Sipping that blood with crackers like we trackless. Depending on Christ so much, I bet he claiming me on his taxes. If he said it, it's gonna happen. His words turn to actions. One man gotta have two funerals just cause of what he said to Lazarus. I trust in God. I'm a nice guy, connect to Christ without Wi-Fi Anyone can see his glory, even TLC recognize that when they write I With Christ and I don't care, know this fight, it is not fair If you see me getting attacked by a bear, please pray for that bear I've never been rich before, yeah. I always wanted to be yeah. See I've been broke before, yeah. I don't like it, see I've yeah. been busted and disgusted, yeah. can't be trusted yeah. I see a house with you still in it, can't be trusted Sometimes I didn't know how I would pay my rent All the money I made, I don't know where it went Robin me to pay for, Robin called a big And every time I reach in my pocket, all I pull out is land I can count on you, yeah, I can count on you I know, I can count on you, I can count on you On you, I can count on you, I can count on you, that's why I don't worry about it I can count on you, I know you got I can count on you, I can count on you, I can count on you. I can count on you. I done been down, I'm standing strong in my faith, but I done been around Had a couple bad days, had to find my way But I never been lost since I've been found And when friends weren't there no more, uh, bonds look low uh, Broken and desperate like where I go uh, Even when I fell, once I hit that flow You was dead to pick me up the ground And I know sometimes it's fate, but it ain't easy Saints talking about you, all greasy I take the good and the bad, and when I count that cost But you're more than worth it, believe me I mean that, and that's for life Healthy kids, beautiful wife Strong tower in the midst of strife You shine on me, spotlight I was hustling before, yeah. but I didn't wanna be. Yeah. I did what I had to do yeah. to pay my bills. You see, yeah. I knew that I was wrong, yeah. but I couldn't get along. Yeah. Thought that I couldn't get along without my forces and cologne. I self-justified everything that I did. I thought I was right, and then you showed me how to live. When I was depressed, you came and lifted my spirit. There was time to get it right, so I did. I can count on you. Yeah. I can count on you. I know I can count on you. I can count, I can count on, you. on you. I can count on you. Yeah. I can count on you. Yeah. I can count on you. I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on, I know I can count on, I can't, I can count on
Thank you again for tuning in to the Independent Artist Showcase, powered by Elevate Magazine. We thank our special guest, Naomi Rain. Make sure you check her out on Facebook, Instagram, and all of the other social media sites. Until next time, take care. God bless. You gotta trust him.